Welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have seen so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So, if you could carefully observe this particular pattern, we are having this particular pattern having A in the first row, B in the second row, C in the third row. Like that, we are having this particular shape. And one more thing is that in every single row, thus in every single new row, the number of alphabets in each row are reducing, right? So in the first row, we have the highest number, which is 5. Later, we have 4. Later, we have 3. Like that, as and when the number of rows are increasing, the number of alphabets are decreasing. Like that, this pattern is having in here. So let us go ahead and see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So in order to print this particular pattern, as we can observe, we have 5 rows. For that reason, I will take a variable rows and I will assign the value 5 here, right? So after that, what I will do is that in order to keep track of these alphabets, we are starting with alphabet A, right? So for that reason, in order to keep track of these alphabets, I will take a variable alpha and I will assign the value A here. So one thing we need to observe, one thing we need to keep in mind is that we cannot directly keep track of these alphabets as in terms of alphabets. So for that reason, we need to convert these alphabets to its equivalent integer number so that we can able to keep track of them. So in order to do that, we have a specific encoding method which is ASCII codes. So if you don't know about ASCII codes, if you don't know about how to convert these ASCII codes to its equivalent integer numbers, watch my first video about alphabets pattern printing 1 where I have clearly explained that. So in this video, we will be seeing the information which is only responsible to print this particular pattern. So as uh, said that, what I will be doing is that I will convert this particular alphabets to its equivalent integer numbers. So to do that in Python, we have a specific method which is ORD. So this ORD method is responsible to convert this alphabet to its equivalent integer number. So for that reason, I am passing this alphabet A to the ORD so that we can able to get A's equivalent integer number that we can use to keep track of these alphabets. So later, in order to generate this many number of rows, I will use a for loop. So for i in range, so we will be generating the range of values for each row here. So in order to generate, what I will be doing is that we can observe in the first row we have 5 alphabets, in the second row we have 4 alphabets. Like that, the alphabets are reducing from 5 till 1, right? So for that reason, I will start this range from 5, which is nothing but rows we have, right? So we need to go till the value of 1. So for that reason, I am mentioning 0. By the functionality of this range, we will be stopped at the value 1 itself. So later, I will mention minus 1 to reduce this uh, range in the descending order by 1. So for that reason only, I am mentioning minus 1. So in this, what I will be doing is that I will just print the value i to know what values we have got. So if I execute this, we can able to see the values 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is what exactly that what we have expected, right? So you can compare these i values with this particular pattern. So you can observe, you can uh, remember that these, uh, these rows are equivalent to rows. We have this you can consider as first row. This you can consider as second row. Like that we have five rows. So now we need to generate every single a value which is nothing but alphabets in every single row. So you can compare this particular i values to this particular pattern in order to generate those many number of alphabets. So as part of that in the first row here we can able to generate five alphabets here in this pattern by using this i, wa I value right. So in the next in the second row we have four values and in the second row of i we have four four number here. So like that by using this i variable, we can actually generate this many number of values or nothing but alphabets here so that we can able to make this particular pattern. So to do that, we will use another for loop to generate each, uh, to generate these values in each row. These are repeating, right? So for that reason, we will use another for loop for a in range. So now we will be generating the range of values. As we have discussed, by using this i value, we can generate this many number of values 
in each row right so for that reason i will start with one and go till the value of i plus one so by the functionality of this range we will be stopped at the value i itself so in this instead of printing this particular i i will print the value of alpha that is what we are using to keep track of this alpha right so now if i directly execute this i will only get the integer value so in order to get the character values that what we want we need to convert this alpha to its equivalent character right so for that reason i will be mentioning chr this chr method is responsible to convert the integer value to its equivalent alphabet so for that reason only i am mentioning chr so if i directly execute this we will get all a's only coming in this lines everything in a new lines right so for that reason in order to format this particular values in this particular shape what i will do is that i will do some formatting so for that i am mentioning an end with space so by default this end is having new line character for that reason only we are getting everything in a new line character so now if i execute this i can able to get everything in line character after that what i will do is that as and when we complete this inner for loop i will print a new line so by printing nothing by mentioning this this print having end parameter which is new line character so that we can able to generate new line character so why i am mentioning print after completion of this inner for loop is that as and when we completed of this particular five in first row four in second row like that we are printing right so this inner for loop is responsible to print those many number of values there so as and when it reaches those many number of values in each row we are going and printing a new line so that we can able to print that in a new line so now if i execute this we can see the result in this shape that is what we have here but now we only need to arrange the values so in order to arrange the values in order to get the exact alphabets what i will do is that i will increment this alpha value by 1 so this alpha value that we are using to keep track of this alphabets right so we are going to increase this particular alpha after completion of this every new new row so for that reason after completion of this inner for loop i am increasing the value of alpha here so now if i execute this you can able to see the exact result exact pattern that is what we have here so now i hope you can able to understand this logic to generate this particular pattern so if you found any difficulty while understanding this logic i sincerely suggest you to watch the video once again carefully so that you can able to understand clearly so in order to better understanding this kind of a pattern or any pattern that you wanted to print watch my numbers pattern printings where i have discussed many numbers pattern printings and effective way of formatting like this this end parameter print statement like this i have explained more clearly in those videos you can watch that videos to get more understanding so now what we will be doing is that we will dynamically take input of this rows and print the pattern accordingly so for that reason i am using integer in order to get integer value i am using input in order to get the input so i am asking user to enter rows here so now if i execute this so it was asking me to enter rows if i give the value let's say 3 here i can able to get the pattern a in the first row b in the second row c in the third row like that what we can expect from 3 we are getting the pattern so let's say if i give the value let's say 9 here till we can able to get this pattern that is what we can expect with the input of 9 so now i hope you can able to generate this kind of pattern by any number given by the user i hope you have found this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if that is true hit the like button in the next video we will see how we can actually print particular pattern so if you observe this this pattern and this pattern which are similar the only thing is is that this pattern is coming in middle whereas this pattern is starting here right so i hope you can able to see the difference in the next video we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern so to stay updated subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video See you in the next one.